practice all summer. You know, we haven't had a chance to work with the team, and they're, they've been here for six weeks, and it's just you want to get out there, but you can't help them until today. So today's a big day for us. Um, the theme throughout you being here for these four years has been you've been able to reload. You know, a bunch of great players leave, and, and new ones fill in their, their shoes. Who should we look out for this year to, to take the, the shoes that um, that great senior class left last year? Well, we've got some really good freshmen here and, and, a, and a good transfer in Olivia McGill. But I think Olivia will be no problem stepping right in because she started for Arizona for two years. But you know, I like, really like Kalei Greeley's skill set. She, she can do it all. I mean, she's 6'3", moves well. Uh, Kendra Kopp, Kelsher is going to be a really good setter in time. So I really like those two. And then, you know, Megan Huff's athletic. We've got athletic people. Uh, it's just a matter of how fast they come around and learn the system. And, you know, they've got to be fundamentally strong. That's what we're going to work on for, you know, a good part of uh, first week. Um, production that meets in Emily Lee, that can't really be filled by, by one person in each position, right? Yeah, you can't really replace Hartong, but, you know, we replaced uh, Kanani Danielson, and we were pretty good. So it's not the same type of player, but we got to get some production in another way out of somebody else. And uh, maybe it's Nikki Taylor. And I forgot to mention uh, um, Savannah Kahakai. We brought her, and we, we think highly of her back row skills. So we think... In time again, she'll be a great libero for us. Um, with Kanani and then Emily, do you feel like to, to reach this team's ultimate goals, which are very lofty, you need that kind of all-American candidate to, to step up and lead the team? Every good team has a go-to player, and you know Emily last year was ours, and a few years before that was um, Kanani Danielson, and you know you, you need that go-to person when it's tight. You know you, you're going to set your best player, and so we've got to establish that for sure. Who do we find early on, or would you say, is the go-to player? Well, you know, Nikki Taylor showed signs last year of being that person uh, as a freshman. We, we set her a ton of balls at the end of the year, and uh, she's a little banged up right now, but I think she has that potential. And, you know, Ty Manu Olibao, I think she's going to have a super year. She's just raring to go, and, uh, you know, she's a junior now, so it's time for her to step up and be uh, one of the leaders out here. Can we talk a little bit more about Olivia's skill set? What does she bring to this team? Olivia touches 10 5 or 10 6. You know, she can go up, grab the rim, and so we just uh, need to set her high enough, you know, because I think she, there's not going to be a middle blocker on the other side of the net. It's, it's going to be more physical than Olivia. So we're trying to set her a lot of balls, and uh, it's uh, you know, very high over the net. So that that's something, you know, that is, you can't teach that kind of thing. So. She has physicality that we like, and uh, I think the fans will really like her play. Um, does the way last year ended still stick with you? Oh, that loss, you know, I think about it a lot. Uh, you know, but the, the the good thing is we've got eight new players that don't even didn't even watch that match and don't know anything about it, so um, they're not going to be bogged down by that. Everybody else kind of remembers it, and maybe that's motivation for some of our players, but it's not a theme that we're starting this year with. It's, it's a brand new year. You know, 40 years, you have a wealth of experience, but, I mean, coaches always say you never stop learning. What is something that you learned in the offseason? Well, I mean, it's always new players, and, uh, you know, that's the exciting part about college athletics. And you, the turnovers, like every year you get new players in, and so that's exciting to me is to work with these young players, and they come in, and they're, they're ready to go. They just want to learn, and, you know, we've got really good kind of kids that want to be good and they want to learn so that that's exciting for me was working with you know a young player like that was that you know the biggest thing behind the decision to come back yeah i mean i'm not sure what the biggest decision uh you know was i mean we've got a good nucleus i still feel good that that's the main thing that i'm not i'm healthy i still have a love for the game so it's still exciting to me what are your expectations for this? I have no expectations other than, you know, we want to compete for that conference title again and get to the NCAAs. Uh, if we can do that, then this team will probably uh, have attained some of the things that I, I'd like to attain. Oh, having no expectations, is that something that you kind of, I mean, you learned over the years that it's better to not have, you know? Well, some years it's different because you've got seniors and juniors that are really really good and they, they come a long way and that you, you know your team's going to be good with this team you've got a few question marks so you can't think national championship on the first day of practice uh, we might eventually get to where we can think about it but 
just not the case right now. You're a guy that's not big on talking about himself or, you know, like, you know, even doing brand interviews in front of a lot of people. So what were your thoughts about that logo that the school released about, you know, you and your, your 40th season? Um, yeah, I haven't purchased one yet, but I know my family would like to have one. I don't know why, but no, it's Sidney Lewis said I looked like the, the guy on the... No, let's forget that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the guy, the, uh, the rolling papers? Zigzag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you look like a zigzag no, man. <laughs> oh, my, my head's bigger on the t-shirt. <laughs> so there's not a, there's not a big plaque at yeah, the Joji household then. It's kind of ironic because you're pretty humble. No, it was funny, but this summer, uh, some of the summer camp kids had the t-shirt on and it was... Rather uh, embarrassing, actually. <laughs> um, Forty years—you know—it's it's a long time. But coach, you still seem so young. Do you think that being around the, the youth of this program and, and the girls, do you think that helps keep you young? There's no doubt that the, the girls keep me young. You know, I can listen to the music and be kind of up to date about that. I look at the way they dress, and I guess that's the style now. And it, yeah, the music and all that uh, social media that they're all up on. They're yeah, it's just great being around the young people. So 40 years, day one never gets old. Oh, it doesn't get old. This is really exciting to me. Yeah. Well, perfect. Okay, Thanks a lot, Coach. Good